Welcome to day two of the International Music Summit 2015. I'm Pete Tong and I'm here at the Hard Rock Hotel, well on the roof of it, in Playa del Bossa. Today saw another packed schedule of live seminars and debates featuring some of the electronic music community's biggest names. Coming up on today's recap, I spoke to Judy Weinstein and David Morales. We met Team Damien Lazarus and the Ancient Moons. And I spoke to legendary producer Trevor Horn. Off the back of a BBC Three documentary, Radio One's B Traits hosted a panel discussing the role of illegal drugs in the electronic music scene. We can't ignore the fact that people are going to use illicit substances in these venues, at these events, and just shutting them down is not going to fix anything. There will be new events, there'll be new clubs opening up. It, was, it is always going to happen. We, we literally have to make a change somewhere else. Yeah. If we were in America, we couldn't even have this conversation because we would be pilloried by the media and we would be demonized for endorsing and supporting drug use just by talking about it. Also on day two. I so we can say that, you know, potentially the, the brands can become, you know, sort of the, the new industry in some way or, yeah. or a big part of the new industry. Yeah, and I think there are brands doing incredibly creative things, building platforms. Red Bull, you know, uh, have done an amazing job of, of building a platform which is you know, it's an energy drink, but, you know, re globally respected as a platform for dance music and creativity. And we've done TV shows with them that have been on, you know, major TV networks in the UK. And the exposure they can offer and, have, uh, and the platform they've built is, is, is really invaluable. And there was a panel discussing the market for electronic music in South Africa. Even in the township now, you know, you, you start seeing guys doing their own shows and, um, and because that's where house music lives, you know, for me. And uh, we have the support of radio, we have the support of television. We, I, I don't think there's any country that supports um, electronic music like our country. And, you know, in the next 10, 20 years, um, we'll have like a, like a, a bigger um, um, scene. Also on day two, we met Team Damien Lazarus and the Ancient Moons. Don't get me wrong, I still absolutely love DJing. It's one of the things I'm most passionate about in my life. Um, but, um, but I just felt that I needed to, to up the ante a little bit and step, step up and, you know, try and be the artist I, you know, always dreamed of being. And I think that I was, uh, just started to feel like there was something a bit more out there for me to, to try. And, um, um, but yeah, I really couldn't do it without these guys. You can see the highlights from the panel by clicking the button on the screen now. Pioneer DJ, the Association for Electronic Music and Dubset held a networking event around the pool here at the Hard Rock Hotel. I spoke to Judy Weinstein and David Morales, the brains behind the illustrious Def Mix. I don't believe Paris Hilton has passion for music. Right. So, I mean... That's going out on Twitter. <laughs> She just slap me for that. <laughs> so I say, one, have passion. Two is learn how to make music because it's really important. If you know about creating music, it will make you a better DJ to understand melodies better. And then you can make records talk to each other even better. I sat down for a conversation with the man who pretty much invented the 80s. Pop music record producer, songwriter, musician and singer, Trevor Horn you kind of deconstructed music and started creating things that actually were, the, I, I think were really like the foundations of hip hop as well in terms of what people started sampling. Yeah, it, I, I remember the first time I played, played my friends Moments in Love and they said it's, it's really boring. It's meant to be like 10 minutes long, you know? I, I mean, uh, in a sort of naive way, I was, I was thinking of something that you could have sex to, I suppose, it was because I thought sex was 10 minutes long. <laughs> if you want to watch that in more detail, click the button on the screen now. And a panel including the likes of Arthur Velasquez of VMV Music Management, Eddie Dean, owner of Passion New York and Macau, and Jeff Drake from the Ministry of Sound Recording sat down uh, to look in depth at the state of the Asian market today. And now it comes to international brands, the ultras of the world, the EDCs of the world, any of the brands on the SFX. You know, unfortunately, I mean, in China, I wouldn't say about Asia, no one really knows them. 
So it's not like you know, anyone buying the brand or licensing the brand is going to get any significant value in promotion marketing. On top of that, all the social medias you know, that everyone knows, the Facebook, Google, I mean, just you know, YouTube, uh, Twitter, Instagram, they're all banned in China. In Japan, Korea, Philippines, Vietnam, Singapore, Jakarta, KL, I mean, Taipei, Hong Kong, Macau, they're all different. Every single goddamn one is different. Click the button on the screen if you want to watch more of that panel. That's it for day two, just one day left, uh, where tomorrow we'll be back with more debates, panels and interviews and presentations from industry leaders looking at the state of electronic music in 2015, including uh, Mixmag putting the spotlight on new talent. IMS Question Time includes debates about whether global festivals are killing local ones. And highlight videos from the key panels will be going live on our YouTube channel throughout tomorrow. And I'll be back with another roundup at the end of the day. Plus, don't forget you can catch up with everything from day one there as well. And now I'm off to sample the delights of the IMS after parties, uh, including our event at Dalt Villa, the World Heritage Site up there in the Old Town, featuring Luciano, Damien Lazarus and the Ancient Moons Live, Solomon, Sven Bath and some bloke called Pete Tong. See you tomorrow.